Hello guys, welcome back to SWS Box and delighted to be joined with Jim, Jimmy Mack. He is Reese Bellotti's head, head coach and uh, Reese Bellotti is 16 wins, 5 defeats with uh, 13 wins by knockout. It's going well, isn't it? Of course, coming off a a, a massive win against Yusuf Kamari uh, on the weekend, which he won by unanimous decision. And, um, he did, mate. He did. He how certainly happy did. were you with his performance? Do you know what? I was I was over the moon with his performance just because Reese has had a couple of like his last couple of fights, like he's obviously coming off a couple of defeats. Yeah. And he hadn't boxed for a year. So the inactivity does no one any favours. So for him to come back like that and put in a performance like he did over ten rounds against the an opponent like Kamari and obviously come out with a win. Yeah, yeah I was absolutely I was absolutely buzzing with that. And um like in the corner, how confident were you um, that he would get? Because when it went all the way, how confident were you that he would get that decision? Do you know what? I, when the final bell went, I was pretty confident that that we'd we'd done enough to win. I, I, I sort of like you sort of subconsciously scored a fight as it goes on, and then round about the halfway mark or just after, we knew it was pretty sort of like pretty close, pretty even. And we knew by having a big finish, like rounds eight, nine and ten. Once I he, thought those, he were went... the, those were the rounds that like kind of made it convincing in my, in my opinion. Yeah, that, that was, that was, that was our plan. Um, he finished strong and uh, obviously put them, putting them last three in the bag was, was why, why the cards were quite wide in the end. I had 97, 93 to a Reese. Yeah, so four rounds. That's a good. That's a good little. Uh, no, little seven score rounds card. to three. Yeah. So, and you think if he won the last three rounds of that, at the time where we sort of pushed on, really, we'd have only been a round the up first at the time. Sort of five rounds were a bit sort of close, but I still had Reese up uh, at the end of the fifth. I think I had it three two to Reese. Yeah. So with Kamari, and then I think it played into his hands and uh, quite a bit. Yeah, so with 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 Kamari, he's, he's a fighter where you can't just walk to him. Do you know what I mean? Like he's he's a very very good fighter. He's very awkward, so it takes you a couple of rounds to just you know slow him down a little bit. And then I thought once Reese had done that job of of slowing him down, then he sort of like got on top of him and could sort of like really win the rounds big as as the fight was going on. You know? Yeah. And of course, that was a British title eliminator. So he's next in because I think Liam Dillon and oh, who's Liam Dillon fighting against? Ashback. Ashback. So hopefully the winner of that um, next. Yeah. So fingers crossed. Um, I'm sure Eddie Earn will be in contact. Um, you know, I guess after them two, them two boys box, which I think's happening July the fifteenth. So yeah, it is. We'll, we'll wait and see what happens with, with Dylan and Ashfak and then um yeah, just push to fight the winner of that fight, hopefully for the British title next. So is Reese yeah, that's... signed with Eddie Hearn because is he signed with him? Like is he is he Eddie's fighter? So before the fight, no. But I think obviously coming out with a win, I think the winner they Eddie Eddie calls it winner stays on, but so the winner of that fight I think um, has got but an I thought extension. Yusuf was um, signed with uh, Eddie. Uh, do you know what? I, I don't know whether he, he was or he isn't, but um, all I'm, I'll know now is that Reese's next fight will, will more than likely be on a matchroom platform. Yeah, yeah. Um, what for, like in, what what we saying, what, October-ish, sort of? Uh, do you know what? I suppose, listen, if we're going to go for the British title, we'll see what happens with them two boys. Obviously, Reese has come through his side of the bargain now. He come out victorious, so he's just going to, I guess, wait and see what happens with, with them two boys. Um, Reese will be ready to, to, to go whenever, really. So it's just yeah. up to when them boys will be ready for. And then whether it be October, November, like whenever, he'll be ready to... Uh, to take that opportunity. Yes, mate. Of course, we can talk about some of his other fights. Of course, he won the Southern Area title 
um, last year with a brilliant stoppage, of course, against Dean Dodge. But because uh, that was short notice, but I always knew that Reese would get to him eventually because I've we've seen because Reese has boxed at the higher level, and I, I did believe that Reese is quite. I think Dean's like a seven level area fighter, and I think Reese is at the British level. So I thought, but it was good for Reese to finally get one of uh, like a strap, wasn't it, against Dean? 100%. Yeah. Like if you look at the fighters that Reese has boxed in his last sort of five, six fights, he's boxed like Grand Deli, who was a very good amateur, had to box him in Italy. As well, yeah, he boxed Raymond Ford, who's now looks like he's number one for the WBA. He's boxed Jordan Gill, who went on to win a European title. So, obviously, he's mixed in very, very good. And Cunningham, company. as well, Jason Cunningham, when he won the Commonwealth title, Cunningham's gone on to win British Commonwealth Europeans. Ryan Walsh, when he boxed for the British title, I think he was British champion for like five years or six years, whatever it was. So, we'll get on to that got... Walsh fight in a bit because that was a very close fight, yeah. Do you know what that night? I think um, maybe it was like looking like looking back now at the time, Reese was sort of like, you know, the wonder kid that everyone was loving at Matchroom. And, but I think going into that fight with Walsh, I think he was only like, I think it was like his 14th fight or something like that. Really, like when you look at it early in his career, to be jumping into a fight with someone as experienced as, as Walsh, I mean, he's good enough to box for a British title at that level that he was at but looking at it if you could have chose a more like put it this way if it was this fight coming up like a Liam Dillon or an Ashvac at that time you'd have fancied it so much more um, I believe he'd beat uh, Walsh at that time I thought Walsh was maybe just getting to the back end of his career a little bit um, but listen he's been a brilliant brilliant champion and you can see you why he's sort of that one? do you think you won it no, I thought I thought Walsh won one on the night. Um, I By feel a lot like, or... do you know what? I feel that Reese started maybe a little bit too slow for the first five or six rounds, and then from there you're chasing. Then do you know what I mean? But I think after he boxed Doyle after the Doyle fight, it made him sort of reevaluate and rethink how he approaches certain fights. Yeah, and I, I feel think like he, yeah. He boxed maybe with maybe with a little bit too much safety fir- first approach with Walsh, but then again you can't just rush in because someone like Walsh is is a is a good fighter and they'll make you pay for it. Yeah, because you you did well against uh, Yusuf with um, patience as well, even though he restarted pretty fast. Yeah, it, the, the the plan was to to box at a high tempo from the start take Kamari out of his comfort zone because if you stand off Kamari and give him space was with him Kamari being a talk- talking to him in there apparently Reese did say he was I, I couldn't hear him but he said that he was pretty much sort of like goaded him if you like trying to get him to sort of like you know fall into traps and, and trying to get Reese to sort of like you know take a bite and sort of like get frustrated but he didn't he didn't take the bait he stuck to his job he was very professional and he just carried out the game plan to to a T and it and it paid off for him. Mm-hmm. Of course, um another fight when he fought in Eddie's back garden. Not a lot of fighters can say that. Um, but he fought Rayfield. Yeah. Unfortunately, he got stopped in the third round. But how like would I don't know like what to say. Like how hard was that defeat? Like how hard is that? Was that the defeat that's hurting the most, would you say? Oh, good question. Uh, do you know what? Every defeat is is painful in their in their own way. I think maybe I think the Doyle defeat it probably cuts maybe the deepest because it's your first professional loss. Yeah. And yeah. you've sort of like you've lost that O. Oh, he lost his Commonwealth title that night, which was which was obviously like terrible for oh, him. Right, and yeah. then uh, yeah, and he come back and and listen. He's every, every every loss is 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 hard. But listen, the the one with the Ford fight, um, that was a hard one because at the time it was obviously like there was COVID and and stuff like that. So you wasn't too sure whether you was going to get another opportunity. And to he sort fought Gilwet that garden as well, didn't he? 
yeah, they was both in Eddie's back garden. So he's not got uh, the best track record in, in Eddie Earn's garden. So we won't have the British title there. Let's keep it to either Wembley Arena or an O2 or something like that. Yeah, yeah. What weight did he fight um, Cunningham at? Because Cunningham's norm, he's at Bantam now. No, Cunningham's Super Bantam or Bantam? I can't remember. No, he's at Super Bantam. What one was that at? Because he's... That was at, that was at Featherweight. And, and the at, mad at thing the minute, is, Reese is super feather. Correct, yeah. So Reese is Reese won the Commonwealth title at, at featherweight, which was the weight that Cunningham was at. Um, even now, is still Cunningham the mad. champion. He was, he was at the time, yeah. And then Reese beat him for it. But it still surprises me how Cunningham makes super bantamweight with the size of him. He's absolutely massive. Yeah, I know. And Reese did stop him, didn't he? Yeah, he stopped him in the sixth round, I believe it was. He did, because Re- that's a ma- that's a big name t- to have on um, the resume as well. That's a big win, that one. Yeah, of course. Well. And look again, looking back at it again, that was Reese Bellotti's like tenth or eleventh fight. So when yeah. you actually look at it, unless you like, unless you've you know gone to the Olympic Games, medaled, you don't, you very rarely see boys box for like like big titles like your British and Commonwealth titles in like 10, 11 fights. Like it's sort of unheard of really. So and he I had think to he learn was like 23 quickly. and some 23 odd wins for um, Cunningham as well at that time. Yeah. So very experienced and obviously like, listen, that was early in Reese's career. So he was the first couple of rounds of that fight. Cunningham was, was out boxing him and Reese was getting frustrated. So, he was falling in. He was taking shots that he didn't necessarily have to take, but he right. he he was very convinced in the corner. I remember him saying like, "I I, I am going to get to him," and they could yeah. feel him like starting to slow, starting to weaken. So and then obviously, when you hit him, that was it. I got. I why did you take um the Dean Dodge fight um for the area belt when you're like, like why did you take that? So coming off coming off the loss to Ford. Um, we hadn't heard nothing from Matt Trum or or, no, or any. Just, I was just saying that because I thought after boxing at like high level, I, I was just wondering why you went down a, like a few levels. So, really, because we couldn't really get a fight, nothing really happened, and Reese wanted to try a new weight division, so we jumped up to Super Feather. So when you actually look at it, rather than like having an having a fight at Super Feather, just in a six round or something, just to build into it. You know, we jumped straight in with Dean Dodge. So was that his first title at Super Feather? That was his first fight and his first title at Super Feather, yeah. Did you would you um did you kind of always know that Reese was gonna get to him? What Dean Dodge? Yeah. Yeah, because I know I know what he's Reece like. Reese got my prediction fit. right because I made predictions on the night and I was like Reese round seven and and he, he I got it spot. Oh, did you win some money? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. You should have had a bet on it, mate. You'd have won a few quid. <clears throat> he, uh, I, yeah, I did believe he'd get to him. I knew that that Dodge was tough and would sit in the pocket with you and and look to to trade. And if you do that with Reese Bellotti you know, the chances are that you are going to come off second best because he's a serious, serious puncher, whether that be at featherweight or super featherweight. Yes, because he's got low, um, 13 knockouts out of his 16. So, yeah. Not a bad not a bad little ratio, is it, really, when you what, when you think of it? What's, like, your fight? Um, what's been your, like, favourite win of his? Like, you're go- going away. I know there's always room to improve, but... What fight were you just like amazed with his performance? Do you know what? It's not that I was amazed with his performance, but it was just the occasion and the atmosphere. It has to be the Cunningham night. It was absolutely unbelievable. Like what? So you were not happy with his performance, like it went because you said he was down. Like well, the like the obviously with Cunningham, he was a southpaw. He was awkward. He was a bit of a mover. So same sort of thing. It was never going to be a clinical performance where. You know, you was going to go out there and stop him easily without taking any shots. So he had to sort of grind them early rounds out to sort of get close to Cunningham. Yeah. But I feel like work, working in a corner, like you, you can sense the atmosphere 
in the venue is that Reese was getting beat. And then when he landed that shot that dropped Cunningham, the venue just absolutely just erupted. And the atmosphere, one of the, it's one of the best atmospheres I've ever heard at your call. And it was, yeah, that, that for me in Reese's career right now was, was probably my favourite moment of his career so far. Yeah. Yeah. Um, of course, well, when he lost to um Grand Danelli, Jordan Gill and Ford, three defeats in a row, was that hard to come back from like three defeats in a row? How hard was that to come back from? 100%. And I think that's where you've got to give Reese Bellotti massive credit because a lot the of fighters... Against Yusuf, they were saying, if he loses... Did you feel going into that fight, it was like the last roll of the dice for you guys? One million percent. If Reese Bellotti would have lost to Yusuf Kamari, no ifs, buts, or maybes, he he would be retired from boxing. Mm-hmm. So is that um how much that wins means to you guys? Massive, yeah. It was it was a huge win for like for us because we knew it was the end of the road. If it had gone the other way and he'd have lost, where do you really come back from after that loss? And now. You look at both sides of the coin. If he loses, that's it. He's done. He's retired. That's it for Nito. But now he's won. He's now on the verge of fighting for a British title. It's just mad. It's how, crazy, isn't how, it? It's mad how quickly it can just change, you know? Yeah, like one fight can change. Just And now you're back in the mix and everyone's talking and about you again. on box rec, sixth best British... Well, he's ranked number six in the British... Um, Super featherweights, and um, also I think he's ranked above uh Liam Dillon and um, oh, I forgot his name already. Oh, Ashback. 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 Oh no, he's so Cordina's one, then Kakachi, then Barrett, then it says Dillon. Sorry, then it says Sharp, then Reese, then Ik uh, Fiaz, then Cash Ashback is number nine. Yeah, so Dylan and Ashback will box for the British title. And really, what should happen now is that's that vacant. We... Yeah, so they'll fight for the vacant title. And then after that, really, how it should go, Reese should fight the winner of that fight. Yeah, because he's not, he's mandatory. I don't think he's been made m- mandated yet, but maybe, should... I don't know what. I don't know what the board will do, whether the board will just automatically make him mandatory for that fight. If that's the case, then regardless of who wins that fight, they'll they'll have to fight him. Is he back in the gym already or is he having a bit of a break now? He'll have a little week off just to just re- recoup, just chill out a little bit, um, spend mm-hmm. a little bit of time with his, with his family and his kids. Um, and yeah, it, it listen. He 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 looks after himself all the time, so he's always in the gym or he's always out running. So there's no doubt. Whenever that date gets announced for his next fight, he will be more than ready for it when it comes around. Mm-hmm. Um, before I let you go, is there any other fighters like you've trained in the past or? Any? Do you know what? I've always worked alongside my dad. Um, obviously working with like you know, your James DeGales, like and all the other fighters that have come through the gym. And I've learned from my old man, like the way, you know, he's set up here. So I know. What's the, the best night so far in like your whole experience? Do you know what? It, it, it would have to be, yeah, be, being in America and James DeGales winning his, winning his world title. That was, like, that doesn't, like you've got to think of experiences like in your life and not many people can say that they've been a part of a team and a journey from the start. So to, that's your highlight moment so far. That's massive. Yeah. Yeah. It has to be. Yeah. Uh, so, is... But yeah, I've, I've had some amazing, I've, I've had some amazing, amazing times and you know, money can't buy them. So like their memories will last forever. And it's like, that's one of them ones, you know, when you can say, oh, you can tell your grandkids about that story, like later on in life or whatever. Their moments are like golden. So they will, they will stay with me till the day I die. Mm-hmm. And of course, when you win that British title soon with Reese, that, that'll that be a big one for you as well. Massive. That'd be right at, up there. And as well. when Reese won that, uh, I think he won 
yeah, the Commonwealth you were saying as well. That was that a, a good one as well. That yeah, uh, do you know what I think? Because of were you James' always... head coach? What Degal? Yeah. No, my dad, my dad, but I worked alongside my dad. So were you in, was you in the Degal. corner? Yeah, I was in the corner from the age of twenty three. I was twenty three when I got my my license and and started like doing bits with with the gal. So I've obviously seen what what it takes to to do it at the highest level. Um, I know how to get the mind right. I know how to get the body conditioned, um, and I feel like I've got a good eye for boxing and what to do and you know like what what you need to do to to fight a certain style i feel like i've 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 served a good apprenticeship under my dad's watch um and been part of some massive massive events and i'm sure there'll be some massive massive events in the future that we're part of as well mm-hmm. and um congratulations to you and reese on the win on the weekend and um keep smashing it with reese thank you very much sam thanks for having me on mate on your channel um, you keep smashing it as well. Keep doing them interviews, mate. And you never know, before you know it, you could be absolutely flying. I appreciate it, mate. And um, thank you for your time. Pleasure, Sam. No problem, mate. Anytime. Bye, mate. Thank you. Take care. See you later, Sam. Time, Bye. Mate.